Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and this is the Ultimate Stingray Strange Pickup Guide. You thought we were done, but we have one more bonus pickup for you, and it's not even a Stingray pickup at all. This is the Curtis Novak BSDS. Let's check it out. This is our Ray 4 SUB, and it's been the mod platform for the Ultimate Stingray Strange Pickup Guide 2022 edition. We've already looked at five different drop-in Stingray pickups that are a bit unorthodox and not going by the typical Stingray formula. This pickup, however, is not even a Stingray pickup. This is a Novak BSDS, a Bisonic pickup, like what you would see in a Guild Starfire. This is also a very high-end pickup. With the coil tap option, this particular pickup comes in at around $350. That is more than this base. <laughs> but I've been sitting on this pickup for a while, and I've been wondering what to do with it, and I think we just figured it out. So we are going to check out how this pickup sounds in a Stingray configuration paired up to the Trickfish IPA 3-band preamp. Big thank you to Trickfish Amplification for providing this preamp for this comparison. Very much appreciated, thank you. So as you can see here, this pickup is clearly not designed to be in a Stingray. There's still visible little ear holes from the pickup ears of the regular Stingray pickup, but it's close enough. <laughs> I picked the 19 millimeter pole option for the Novak pickup, which allows us to put it in this particular position here and have great coverage for the strings and the pole. So. It looks like this is going to work out quite well, and I'm very excited to show it to you all. If you want to learn more about the Curtis Novak BSDS, I'm going to have his website linked down in the description below. But let's get to playing this bass. You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. So that is the Curtis Novak BSDS inside of a Stingray. It's not meant to be here, and the wiring job that I did is not the typical uh, coil tap that we are supposed to do. I do have it wired in somewhat of a series parallel configuration. However, it's more of a voice one and voice two versus series parallel. Uh, what you heard was voice one, and here's voice two. <laughs> But we will be testing this like we would the other Stingray pickups that we've tested in this series, and let's get to it. Everything you've heard thus far is with the preamp centered, and we are going to keep it centered and start playing our riff. First, pick up in voice one. Voice two. <laughs> 
Back to voice one, we are going to do our mid scoop. So this is 50% mids cut and treble and bass boosted around 50%. And here's voice two. Back to voice one, let's boost our mids 50% and bring our bass and treble back to center. Back to voice one, we're going to center the preamp and grab our pick. And here's voice two with a pick.
Next, let's go back to voice one, keeping our preamp centered and give this bass a slap. And here's voice two. And going back to voice one, let's do our mid scoop one more time, cutting our mids 50% and boosting our bass and treble 50%. Here's that slapped. And finally, here's that in voice two. So here are my final thoughts on the Novak BSDS in our Stingray mod platform. Again, this pickup is not really meant to be in a Stingray, and I did not wire it up in the normal advised uh, coil tap situation. So I did have it set up in the traditional series parallel and did have to mess with it a bit, but I got it working as as it is, so it's it, it works. <laughs> Again, no fault of the pickup, I didn't follow the advised instructions, but with voice one, I think this pickup sounds quite amazing, honestly. I think it sounds really, really good. I wasn't really expecting that, and it sounds quite different from the other Stingray pickups. One thing that I noticed looking at all these Stingray pickups, as well as this Novak by Sonic, is that all those other Stingray pickups sounded very much like a Stingray for the most part. Um, there was variances in, you know, how they were voiced. Some were a bit more treble heavy, some were a bit more mid heavy or low end heavy. Uh, but they were basically all sounding roughly the same due to the pickups being in the same position with the poles being in the same spot. This Novak pickup being a different construction entirely. This is a bisonic pickup, like a guild. It's, it's built differently. It's Bill Dipperly. I'm Bill Dipperly. I'm Bill Dipperly. I'm Bill Dipperly. Uh, this pickup definitely sounds quite a bit different than your typical Stingray pickup, and I think it sounds pretty neat. So I'm glad I was finally able to do something with this pickup, and I'm glad I was able to share it with you all. Let me know what you think about the Novak BSDS in our Sterling Ray 4 test platform down in the comments below.
Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about our Ray 4 SUB in our Ultimate Stingray Strange Pickup Guide 2022 edition, as well as the Novak Bisonic BSDS. And as always, until we groove again.